What's going on guys, Mike Bontempo here and uh, what I want to do today is walk you through how to set up Google Tag Manager with um, ClickFunnels and I'm doing it for a client right now and I figured you know I just would record it and kind of show you guys you know the different things that you can do with um, with with click funnels and then uh, Google Tag Manager and, and the custom conversions and, and all that stuff so first things first is I just created the Google Tag Manager I took this script I added it into the settings so you go to head tracking code you add this and then the body tracking code you add the bottom so that is good now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually add the base pixel so we're going to set up the pixel here. We're going to click manually install the pixel yourself. You're going to copy the code to the clipboard. Um, and you're going to go to tags. You're going to click new. And we're going to stay very organized here. So it's going to be FB base pixel. We're going to open up the folder. We're going to create a new folder. It's going to be called Facebook. We're going to click create. Tag configuration is going to be custom HTML. We're going to paste this in here. The trigger is going to be across all pages. You're going to click save. Now the next thing you want to do is because this is a webinar lead, because this is a webinar, you're going to have a lead. So you're just going to do FB dash lead. Facebook tag configuration custom HTML. You're going to click um, manually install event codes. We're going to go to automotive and we're going to get lead. And it doesn't really matter what you choose up here. It's just, you know, they have a set of events. So you copy the, co copy the code to the clipboard. You're going to paste this here. You're going to go to triggering. You're going to click plus. Then you're going to go, you're going to make this um, lands in waiting room. The trigger configuration is going to be a page view then some page views, page URL, and the page URL is webinar countdown. Now the one thing is you want to make sure that you just test this and make sure it's going to the correct one. So it's forward slash webinar countdown. So we put that there. We're going to save this. We're going to save this again. And there you go. Now the next thing is when they go to the webinar room we can um, let's just make sure that this this domain is all good so it's broadcast room I'm just gonna change this to I like to keep very clean links so broadcast we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna put it in here we gotta make sure the path is the same we're gonna update the page so let's just make sure this is all good so you see broadcast and then the next thing we're going to do is, um, so that that's that. We're going to do attended the webinar. So I'm going to do new FB dash attended. We're going to put it in the, in the folder and we can do a custom HTML. Now this is a custom event. So I'm going to go to one of my other uh, clients and just pull that event from there so we come here we're gonna go to tags and it's gonna be FB dash webinar attended we're gonna copy this we're gonna come back over here and then Facebook I'm just gonna have it be attended so the content name is gonna pass through as attended it's gonna trigger on the webinar room so we're going to name it webinar room. The page view is going to be some page views. Page URL contains forward slash broadcast. So we're going to save this. This is all good. So that means that they attended. It's going to pass through. Now the next thing we're going to do is go and set up a custom uh, event for when people saw the offer which allows us to essentially we can build custom events and then we uh, custom conversions and then we could do custom columns for that and then we could also do um, audiences based off that so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come into here 
you're gonna edit the page and I just wanna see when the actual call to action drops. So the call to action drops 32 minutes and 13 seconds in. So 32 minutes to milliseconds because that's how Google Tag Manager works. So we're gonna click on convert 32 mil minutes to milliseconds. We have this, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do new. It's going to be FB saw offer. You're going to do the same custom HTML. And then we're going to copy this again. We're going to put this here. We're going to change it to saw, saw offer. One word. We're going to do the triggering. It's going to be webinar. Well, actually, no, that's wrong. I did it wrong. So get rid of that so the trigger is going to be a timer so saw offer trigger configuration you're gonna go down to timer now the interval is gonna be in milliseconds so you're gonna copy this you're gonna get rid of the commas the limits gonna be one and then we're gonna make sure it goes on the page URL forward slash broadcast so you have your all timers, you're going to save it, you're going to save it again, and there you go. Now you have saw offer, you have FB attended, FB base pixel, FB lead, FB saw offer. I'm going to refresh this just to show the firing triggers. Um, and I also need to put this in the correct thing. So it's got to be Facebook. We're going to save that. Now, um, when they land on the actual... Um, when they land on the order page, so he just set up a new order page. So the order page new is going to be, let's just make sure it doesn't redirect anywhere. So yeah, so we're going to just do order new. We're going to change this to order new. We're going to copy it. We're going to update the page. And then we're just going to paste that again so it's all the same. So you see order, well, it should go to order new. I don't know why it's adding that extra stuff to it. Just one second. Why is it? Let me retry that. Update page. So there you go. Now you have order new. So when they go here, um, when they go here, it's going to be an add to cart. So it's going to be forward slash new. So we go back here we're gonna do new FB dash add to cart so when they land on that page we're gonna do an F to add to cart you come to custom HTML and then you're gonna go back to here and we're gonna find the add to cart so the add to cart is here you're gonna copy this code to the clipboard we're going to paste this. The triggering is going to be on that cart page again. So added add to cart. Or we could just do checkout page. Um, and I know I'm going pretty fast, but you could slow you could slow this stuff down if you want. So we have forward slash order new. We're going to save this. Save this. So you have add to cart now added, and then finally we're going to do FB dash purchase Facebook it's gonna be the same thing custom HTML we're gonna go here so purchase the conversion value is 997 currency is USD we're gonna copy this code to the clipboard we're gonna put it in here now the triggering is going to be on the thank you page so purchase thank you page page view, some page views, page URL, and then um, so that's going to be done. And then we're going to come back here. Well, not the right one. We're going to come back here. We're going to go to order confirmation. Let's make sure that this is a clean link. It is not. So we have to change this to thank, thank dash you, thank dash you. We're going to update the page. Now it only goes to this page that works so we're gonna go here it's gonna be thank forward slash thank 
dash u. Now it's going to fire on that page. We're going to refresh this, make sure this is all good, and now we can essentially test everything. So that you know that's how you set up like a webinar um, with multiple different um, pieces. So you know you have your base pixel. People are going to opt in. They're going to become a lead when they attend the webinar. You could do a custom event because we're going to do custom columns and custom conversions. When they see the offer, it's another custom event. It's a firing trigger based off milliseconds. Then when they add to cart, when they go to the checkout page, you're going to have uh, FB dash add to cart. And then when they purchase, they're going to you know land on the thank you page. So we're going to just preview this. Um, So we're just going to preview this and now we're just going to go through the funnel and we're just going to opt in and test everything out, make sure everything works. A little thing should come up under here. So you see the base pixel fires. We're going to click yes, reserve my seat right now. So Mike at MikeBontempo.com. Now you guys can see the lead fires. So that's good. This is this is um, going to fire in a minute and 54 seconds, but I don't want to wait that long. So we could just go to the, the live page. We could get rid of this and we could go to the live page. Well, actually, it's cooking me. So I'll just I'll just speed this this thing up. OK, so this redirects. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, now you can Check see um, that it attends. Um, so that's that's all good. Now I'm obviously not going to wait for the saw offer, but I mean I set it up correctly. So the saw offer is also going to fire. Um, so that's good. Then we're going to go to well, this is not the order page. So so now he actually changed his um, page. So we got to update this. Well, since I updated the link, and guys, you know whenever you're setting up tracking and stuff, you know just just do a double check. So many people just don't do a double check and. You know that's why they you know they miss things so it's order new we're gonna save that so that's all good now we're just gonna go to order page new the add to cart should fire on this so you see the add to cart there you go and now we go to the actual we go to the actual order confirmation page the purchase pixel should fire and there you go, FB-purchase. Now the one thing I'm going to change is I'm actually going to drag this up here since this is new so we could kind of see it. And I'll drag this down here. So that's that. Now I kind of I want to show you guys exactly how to do um, the custom events. So what we'll do is we will go back to here. Um, so the custom, the events actually should have passed through. So if we go back, um, just one second. So this is active, um, even though it's saying new um, events have been received. I'll just do test events so you could test. So what I'll do is, because um, we want the custom event to essentially fire, so. So view content, so you can see the attended went through there. So hopefully we can do the, yeah, so right now. So right now it doesn't have enough um, enough stuff to essentially pass through. Um, all right, so we waited a couple minutes. We got some data. You know, you got your page views, you got your leads, you got your add to cart. Now I'm able to create a custom conversion and off of view content. We're going to do event parameters. So the first one's going to be attended. Um, name's going to be attended. We're going to put attended webinar in here. We're going to create this. Um, now the next one is going to be saw offer. It's going to be equals saw offer. Name's going to be saw offer. Description's going to be saw offer webinar create so now we have those um, those two custom conversions so what we could do is we'll start seeing those conversions but what the main point is 
we can build out columns. So you want to be able to see your data extremely, extremely quickly. So you want to set up your columns correctly. Um, and like this is, like I said, this is for a, a client account. Um, so like this is exactly what we do. This is what I teach my team to do. So like right now we're closing in on 30 clients. Um, so you want to be able to see your data extremely, extremely quickly. So this is, you know, one of the things we actually have built out in Asana. So first off, I get rid of errors. Um, I go to, I do cost per result, results, um, unique link clicks. We'll go CTR. So link click through rate. We'll do um, CPC, cost per link click. And then, um, so we got that. We want to do um, attended. So people that have attended, you want to do saw offer. People that saw the offer, then you want to do add to cart. Add to cart. You don't need these. I never check them. They just they don't do much for me. Um, We want to put that after the saw offer. Then we could do um, website purchases. And then we do um, so purchases. Well, actually, you know what? Let me get rid of this. We'll just do purchases and then cost. So So you have purchases, cost per purchase. And then what you could actually do too is for the CPC, you could put CPMs right in front of it, CPM. Um, so we'll drag this up here it's just so we can see where the CPMs are. We're going to save it as a preset as one. You're going to apply it. Then you're going to set this as default. And now you can literally see you know, your, your stuff very, very easily. Um, you'll be able to see your cost per lead, how many leads you got, how many unique link clicks you got, CTR, CPC, CPM, attended, saw offer, adds to cart, purchases, and cost per purchase. And I mean, you know, that's, that's how you set up you know, tracking for a webinar using ClickFunnels. Um, you know, if you have something else, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Just make sure it's clean. If you, if you see my stuff, like it's extremely organized and especially like when you're running a team of media buyers, you have to be organized. You have to, you know, know all of your stuff, make sure you test all of your pages before you launch all of that. And, but this, this will be good. This is my default. I'll be able to come in here, see how many leads I got, the CTR, the CPC, CPM, attended, so I'll offer, adds to cart, purchases, and cost per purchase. So, yeah, there you, uh, there you go. So that was literally just one of the steps that we do for our clients. You know, we set up Google Tag Manager, we organize everything, we set up, um, you know, the custom conversions, so we can really see what's working. So if you want my team to run all of your Facebook. YouTube and Google ads for you and actually scale up your webinar or direct response offer, then you could go to mikebontempo.com forward slash bow and you can book a call. We'll jump on a call and see uh, if you're a good fit for our services. So that's mikebontempo.com forward slash bow. Book a call and uh, we'll see if you're a good fit to work with us. Talk soon.